everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is star thank you so much for joining me for another video today we're going to be doing a binder check-in where i'm going to be comparing my binder amounts from way way back in july to present day so i know some of you are wondering well why are we comparing numbers from way back in july that is because i had planned to do one of these videos back in july and i still have these numbers also i thought it would be fun to just compare what I had saved to now in October, which is something like three months later. So if you take a look at these numbers here, you will see that these are the numbers from the month of July. And I have my long-term binder here at the top and my short-term binder starts from toiletries down to hair. And if you take a look at some of these envelopes over here, this is where I rarely have more than $50 in any of these envelopes at one time. So I started thinking, well, how can I do that? I've already cut back so much and I'm unable to make any more large sacrifices. And that's when I became intrigued with Mint Mobile who this video is in partnership with today they offer premium wireless for $15 a month I can get high-speed data and unlimited talk and text on the nation's largest 5g network I can even bring my own phone along with my current phone number and existing contact so essentially I am sacrificing nothing so how hard is it to switch your service? Big Wireless wants you to think it's hard, but it's not. Switching to Mint is really easy. Thanks to digital eSIM cards, which most phones now have, you can sign up and activate immediately right on your phone from the comfort of your home. If your phone doesn't have an eSIM, Mint will ship you a new SIM card for free. So if you want to save a little bit of money without all the sacrifices, go to trymintmobile.com slash starcastbudgeting, also linked in the description down below, to get premium wireless for just $15 a month when you purchase a three month plan. So with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and compare and just for fun, see if I did, if I'm doing better or doing worse with my savings. So in medical, back in July, we had 263. Now currently we have 100, 200, 20, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64. So 264, we are doing $1 better, if that makes any sense. So I'm gonna put 264 here and then we can put a positive one for christmas let's see what we have in july we have 775 so for christmas we have a thousand set aside plus 20 40 60 65 70 75 so 1075 dollars in christmas one thousand seventy five so I'm gonna do one thousand seventy five minus seven seventy five which equals three hundred so that's pretty good so for Gabe's future back in July we had twenty one thirty so currently we have two thousand five hundred plus let's see how I'm gonna count this fifty six hundred fifty seven hundred ten fifteen so two thousand seven hundred and fifteen dollars with a difference of we'll do 2715 minus 2130 equals 585 dollars i haven't done one of these videos in a very long time where i used to just kind of compare my numbers to previous months so I have savings here, but I'm actually not going to count this because of the way I do my savings. And if you've seen previous videos, then you see that I use savings to kind of pay myself back um, different amounts at different times. So I kind of don't add it all up together. So we're not gonna, gonna um, worry about savings. Okay, so with Gay's Miscellaneous, back in July we had 38, and now today we have 60 with a difference of 22. I spend out of this envelope quite a bit. Okay, and then family had zero and now family has five. So we have a, a positive of five. 
this is also good to do this too because you can see um, what kind of spending habits you have in different categories in your life. So back in July, I had $215 for home improvement. Now I have 10, 20, 21, and $22 with a negative of 193. I know I bought my edger for my weed eater or an edger attachment for my weed eater, but that was only $100. So I can't remember what else I spent using home improvement. Okay, student loans. Did I put student loans on here? Yes, it's down here. That is the same, 579, because my um, student loans account have been in forbearance for the longest time. Car maintenance used to have $237 in it. Now it has 150, 70, 90, $200 with a negative of 37, but that's okay because in previous videos, if you've seen them, then you know that I've been through some stuff with my car. I had to get a new battery. I had to get a whole new set of tires. So car maintenance is actually looking pretty good. I've been working really hard trying to build that envelope up. So for emergencies, we had 12.95 back in July. Now we have 1,000. 100, 200, 300, 50, 70, 90, 400, 10, 15. So 14, 15 with a difference of $120. Okay. And I think all in all for my long-term binder, Saving has been pretty good, but it could always improve. Let's move on to my short-term binder. So for toiletries in July, we had $23. Now we have 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, which is pretty much the same, give or take $5. I'm starting to see a pattern here in what I spend the most out of. So hair, I got down here because I forgot to add it, but hair back in July had 200. I was initially saving to get my hair braided and that's how much it costs at the salon to get my hair in, um, in braids, but then I decided not to and decided to give my natural hair a um, really long rest. So I ended up not spending this 200 for that, but I did use this for some hair products and something else. So right now we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40. So 140 with a difference of $60. And I don't know if I have the same plans to get my hair braided anytime soon. So Star, which is an envelope for myself, which I seem to cannot keep money in. Back in July, I had $35. Now I have 20, 40, 50, 55, 60 which is good because I told myself I'm adamant about saving up for some headphones. So I don't want to dip into this anymore. So that's my goal. So we have a total of, or a difference of 25. For Car Glow Up back in July, we had $68. And I know we've improved a little bit here because currently we have 50, 70, 80, 81, 2, 3. $83 and I was initially saving for some seat covers for my car and this isn't a really high priority um, envelope and I the reason why I haven't purchased any yet is because I haven't found any that I liked so when I find some that I like I'll make that purchase and I also need to add a little bit more in there so for my dog Jack Jack Jackson he had $15 in July now he has 30 and if you are new here, then I want to tell you that my puppy, my, well, he's not a puppy, he's 10 years old, but my dog had a recent scare um, with his eye and I thought it was going to be really bad. So that is a uh, plus of 15. 
And so I had to do like an emergency vet visit and buy his medication and stuff. And I really wasn't prepared for that. So I had to dip into my buffer. And so that helped me realize that I need to put more money towards my doggy fund because you never know. I'm thinking because he doesn't really go anywhere, you know, he doesn't really have the opportunity to get injured or anything, but he could get sick. You know, he's getting older. He's 10 years old now. So it's helped me realize I need to put more towards his envelope. So in gifts back in July, we had $19. Now we currently have $2. So that shows you that I'm always giving gifts because I can't keep any money in this either. That should be a minus. No, it shouldn't. What did I do? Oh, it should be minus 17. I don't even know what I put in the calculator just now. But yeah, we have a lot of negatives, you guys. Okay, so for household back in July, we had 27. And now we have 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So that is a difference of $13. I feel like the last, and, and you know, the last time I did one of these videos, it was quite a while ago, and I've um, gained quite a few subscribers since then. So I'm not even sure if you new guys have even seen it, but. I feel like I was doing much better in the last the last time I did a binder check-in. Okay, so work in July, we had $4 and now we got two. So that's a difference of $2. So Bath and Body Works had $31 in July and now it has five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, which is crazy negative 21 my goodness you know times are hard so i'm not getting too down on myself because again this is a low priority binder but this is also like my fun binder and my little miscellaneous binder and i would love to have more money goes go towards these things so in entertainment we had 15 in july now we just have two dollars for a difference of 13 so that's negative 13 okay and home decor it used to be housing but i changed the name so it used to have 17 now it has five six seven eight nine nine dollars for a difference of eight right yeah yeah we got a bunch of negatives you guys so I definitely need to figure out how in the world I'm going to, you know, cut back a little bit more and think about my bills and see if there's a way to cut back with that. Okay, so subscriptions had 100. Now, I know why this went down because I recently paid um, two of my yearly subscriptions for streaming services. So um, now we have 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And I think the next subscription service is going to come in December. And that is for my Nintendo Switch. How much did I say it was? 15? I was talking and counting and not paying attention. 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, 15. Um, yeah, my not my Nintendo Switch um, subscription, but my son's is coming in December. And that's just like $21 or something. Okay, and we don't have taxes or anything like that. Okay, so I've done um, all of, well, I've done my high priority binder and my low priority binder. So I'm going to go ahead and first I'm going to add this column up and then add this one and then see the difference and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've added up all the numbers and in July, I had a total of $6,111 in my high priority and low priority binder. And currently here in October, I have $6,720. So we have a positive change of $609, which isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. And I do believe that it is because I put more of a priority on my savings and um, Christmas and my son's savings in Gabe's future 
and that's why we have an increase and I also believe that could be why um, down here we are definitely in the negative but as I said I'm thinking of brand new ways to figure out how I can cut back so I can bump some of these numbers up but anywho thank you guys so very much for watching and if you made it this far please leave me a calculator emoji are there calculator emojis i don't know if not then leave me like a computer emoji or something and i will definitely catch you in the next one bye bye